Humans do not exist in isolation. We are shaped by the world around us. Researchers in applied health sciences are developing new ways to prevent illness and injury and improve health for individuals at home, at work, and in their communities. Excessive sitting at a desk can double your chance of cardiovascular disease and increase musculoskeletal disorders. My name is Jack Callahan, and I study how to maximize sit-to-stand workstation usage. In the Canadian Arctic, the Thelon River represents both a homeland and sacred place for Indigenous communities. Over time, tourism has helped redefine this space as a leisure landscape. My name is Brian Grimwood. I research human land interactions to help Indigenous communities in their efforts to maintain and recover cultural livelihoods. For Indigenous communities of the Northwest Territories, traditional foods like fish and moose and geese are both a vital source of nutrition as well as an integral part of culture and heritage. But these foods can also be on a pathway of exposure to contaminants like mercury and PCBs. My name is Brian Laird. I'm a toxicologist doing biomonitoring research in Canada's subarctic, investigating human exposure to environmental contaminants. One of the big issues with moving to a standing workstation is about half of the population develop severe low back pain if they move too quickly into this new design. Our approach is to try and integrate how the sitting and standing mesh together so that they can increase their health but yet avoid developing a musculoskeletal disorder. The impact of this work can extend people's healthy lives as well as make happier, healthier, more productive workers. My research is important because tourism has this way of literally or figuratively displacing Indigenous peoples from their homelands. So my research is trying to work with Indigenous communities to elevate their voices and stories within those tourist spaces. This knowledge helps us better understand the extent of the health risks faced by Indigenous populations. And by bringing this information back to our community partners, we can help find ways to lower people's exposure.